All right, so people were asking me about how to use this app. This is ADS, touch it before it goes, goes out on me, ADS-B Exchange right there, ADS-B Exchange.com. Use it on your browser. If you try to use the, the app, you have to pay for, uh, pay for it. So the way that you do is just pull this up and uh, hold on, let me get in here. So I'm looking to see if there's any surveillance up right now. I don't see anything, but let's just, for the sake of argument, let's go down here and pick on this plane right here. Okay, scroll down here, you get your speed, altitude, etc., so forth. Now, if that were a regular plane, you would get an image, the registration number, the owner, etc., so forth. Okay, so that's probably something. See this T up here? If you hit that, you get the track of all the aircraft. So what you want to do, untrack that because it's going to get too cluttered. You go in here, you find an area like this, okay, and then you hit track. And you look for, and there's none here right now because nobody's really doing any surveillance. But what you look for is a plane like this that has a circle, 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 just going, nothing, doing nothing but going in circles. That's going to be a surveillance op, okay? They spend, if you see a plane circling a neighborhood for an hour, okay, that's some kind of surveillance op. So just keep watching. And then when they, if, if they leave, they'll travel along a roadway, okay? That's them following somebody, and when they get to the next destination, you'll see they start circling again. And that's how you use it. Look at the area that they're circling. You can zoom in on it, okay? And it'll give you street names and whatnot, okay? So if, for instance, right here at Lay Road and East Houston Road, if there was a plane circling right here, drive to that area and start looking for undercover cars. It's really that simple. And people say, well, you know, you're, you've got their radio channels. No, I don't. So, what I have, their radio channels are encrypted. Okay, so I'll give you a for instance here. I'm turn, turn on that and this. Just to show you, or like earlier, I was listening to the Precinct 3 Constables. See? But they're not... They're not, um, they weren't the ones doing it. Let me get this. I have to go all the way around. Here we go, back to HPD. We'll get on Southeast. And that's where we live for now. Um, but I don't have the encrypted channels. You can't get the encrypted channels like here. Precinct 8. This is just regular dispatch. It's all that is. You can't get their encrypted channels unless you have the encryption keys. And as much as I would love to have those, I do not. I'm trying to figure out how to turn this around so that you guys... Well, <laughs> okay, I'll give you just a view then. How about that? If I can't get it to flip. Um... You see those guys out there fishing. You know, and I don't show myself normally. Normally, I just kind of sit back and watch and observe. And, uh, you know, like showing myself today, there's a purpose in that. You know, they've been leaving some harassing comments on the channel and uh, making some random threats. So, okay. So, I give them a, a little taste of uh, what it's like when... Uh, when I do show myself. But you see, I was nice today. I didn't interfere. I didn't do anything. But trust me, I'm out there a lot finding these operations, and I've been doing this for a while. I've got a database of about 48 undercover cars. And getting more, got three more today, four more today. Pictures and plate numbers, pictures and plate numbers. And if I decide to publish that, it's going to burn most of their undercover fleet or a good portion of their undercover fleet here in the area. 
They're not going to have any undercover cars to ride around in. And it doesn't do them any good to change the license plate number because when you run the VIN number, the new plate will come up. You just update the database periodically, which is what I do. I also, you know, like I said, these guys have no clue I'm there most of the time unless I show myself. And so I've been observing these operations for a while. I've got a list of uh, people that they have arrested and I track them through the court system, including the ones that get arrested and somehow don't turn up in the court system. Wonder who those guys are. And I have followed them and watched uh, drug exchanges and then watched the undercovers follow one of the guys away and I'll follow. And lo and behold, they meet up and uh, the informant hands the drugs off to the uh, undercover officer. So I've got quite a few uh, undercover, or not undercover, uh, informants that I can burn as well and have it. Um, and I, I have mixed emotions about burning informants because I've come to find so many informants within our groups, within our movement. And, um, you know, I just really don't have a lot of sympathy for them. And, but, but I have yet to publish it. I, I may or may not. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, my point is that I don't bother these guys. I'm out there to just document what's going on, make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, I leave them alone. I expect that they will leave me alone. If they continue to leave harassing comments, I'm going to... Uh, well, matter of fact, at some point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out on one of these operations and just let everybody know how unhappy I am about the comments they've been leaving. But, uh, you know that may just be a one-time deal if they'll just leave me alone. But if they keep screwing with me, keep harassing me online, they're not going to like what I do. They are really not going to like what I do. So, uh, you know, it, it's really simple. Go do your thing. Let me do my thing. And we're all good. Or, you want to play games? I got a lot of games to play. That is it, guys. I hope you found... Uh, found the information about how to use that app useful um, again I wish I wish we could get the radio traffic because that would be that would be really good I'm sure I'd love to hear some of the things they're saying about me <laughs> uh, to be a fly on the window of one of those undercover cars but uh, you know that's why they hide that's why they hide they don't want you to know what they're up to they uh, you know, they operate, they think they operate in the dark and that gives them the ability to do whatever they want and get away with it. Well, those days are rapidly coming to an end, rapidly coming to an end, you know, and it's going to come to a point where we get the keys for those uh, encrypted radio channels and we start listening in and uh, that's when the real fun will begin. Guys, y'all be safe, and uh, thanks for watching.